In this video, I'd like to talk about a special case of exponential functions that we call either the half-life problems or the doubling time problems. Now, it often makes sense to compare scenarios using a common sense measure of the passage of time. For many cases, this ends up being the half-life or the doubling time. Let's look at a table that shows us the doubling time for various interest rates. It doesn't matter how much money you put in, the doubling time will be the same. For example, if we're compounding continuously at 10%, it will take 6.93 years for our money to double, which is great. At an interest rate of 8%, it'll take 8.66 years for money to double. At an interest rate of 6%, it takes 11.55 years for the money to double. At an interest rate of 4%, it takes 17.33 years for your money to double. That's a long time. And then finally at 2%, it takes 34.66 years for your money to double. So if you're saving for retirement, you're gonna to wanna to invest in something with a higher interest rate than 2%. Now, when you're calculating a doubling time, you can just call the initial amount capital A sub zero. And then the amount after doubling, you can call two times capital A sub zero. So twice whatever you start with. That sub zero actually stands for initial. So we're basically saying amount initial and twice the amount initial. Knowing how long it takes for something to double will actually give you enough information to find the continuous growth rate K. You should always aim to find K first if you don't already know it. Let's try a problem. Dharma is told by a friend that he knows of an amazing investment that will double their money in five years. What would be the annual interest rate if the investment grew continuously? Let's write down what we know in this problem. We know that we're looking at continuous growth. So that's something like Q of T equals lowercase a, lowercase e to the KT for our model. Now, we know that the time it takes to double is five years. And in five years, we go from capital A sub zero to two times capital A sub zero. We're doubling our money. Let's go ahead and put those into our Q of T formula. So we would write two capital A sub zero equals capital A sub zero E to the K times five. And the only variable left in this problem is that K in the exponent. So we should be able to solve it. We're gonna start by dividing both sides by capital A sub zero. Two capital A sub zero divided by A sub zero equals A sub zero E to the five K divided by A sub zero. And all of those A sub zeros are going to reduce to make ones. That gives us two equals E to the five K. And that's actually why it doesn't matter that we don't know how much they start with because whatever they start with, they're just gonna double it and you can divide it out, giving us two. So now we have two equals e to the five k. We have an isolated exponential function with base e. So we can take a natural log on both sides. I'm gonna take a natural log, left paren, right paren on the left, and a natural log, left paren, right paren on the right hand side of the equation, and then drop in the equation from above. So natural log of two equals natural log of e to the five k few arrows just to remind ourselves where we're going here. On the left hand side we have natural log 2 and on the right hand side the natural log and the e have the same base. So all that's left is 5k. We can then divide both sides by 5 giving us ln 2 over 5 equals k. Evaluating this gives 0 0.1386 for a K value, which means that the interest rate on this amazing investment is 13.86%. Wow, that is a really high investment rate. To get a sense of whether that seems correct, we can move back up to our table of values. The lowest doubling time in the table we had was 6.93 years for an interest rate of 10%. We're actually looking at a doubling time of five years, which should be below that, and an interest rate of 13.86%. So that doesn't seem unreasonable. It fits with the schema that we have already developed. Now I have a problem for you to try. 
Liam wants to invest his IRA rollover into an account that pays 8.2% on average. How long will it take him to triple his money? Now, before you start this, I do want to point out that I did not say here that the investment grew continuously. And so you're going to have to pay attention to what formula you would use and the fact that he's trying to triple his money. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can make those two adjustments on your own. Okay, we're back. The model we would wanna use here is just the basic exponential growth model. So Q of T equals A times B to the T. In this case, we don't know what T is, but we can write down what B is. We know the rate is 0.082, which means that B is one plus that rate, which is 1.082. And we know the initial value lowercase a can be written as capital A sub zero, and then the Q amount, and then this is growing to be three times that amount. So three times a sub zero. Let's put all of that into the formula. We're going to have a result of three times capital A sub zero, and that's going to be equal to capital A sub zero, the initial value, times the B value, 1.082 raised to the T power. Now, before we can solve this, we need to isolate the exponential part, which is the 1.082 to the T. So let's divide both sides by capital A sub zero. Now I have three capital A sub zero over A sub zero. Those reduce to make one, leaving me with just three on the left. And on the right hand side, I have capital A sub zero times left paren 1.082 right paren to the t over capital A sub zero. So again, the A sub zero is reduced to make one and we're left with just left paren 1.082 right paren to the t. Now we have the exponential part isolated. So we can take a logarithm on both sides to undo that. And in this case, it doesn't matter what logarithm we take because we're going to use the exponent property to bring the t in front. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a natural log on both sides. Natural log of left paren, right paren for the left, and natural log left paren, right paren for the right. Now I'll drop in the equation from the previous line, giving me natural log of three on the left equals natural log of 1.082 to the t on the right-hand side. That t in the exponent can go in front of the logarithm using the exponent property of logarithms, and we're left with natural log of three equals t times natural log of 1.082. Finally, to isolate that t, we just need to divide both sides by natural log 1.082. This gives us natural log of three divided by natural log of 1.082 equals t. And doing that evaluation, we get t equals 13.94 years. Again, we can use the table of values we had earlier to judge the reasonability of this answer. 8% would double in 8.66 years. So it doesn't seem unreasonable that 8% would triple in about 14 years. That's a little under twice the length of time it would take to double.